He has been called a champion for human rights and higher education by other educators. Lionel Bordeaux is also one of the longest serving college presidents in the country. For the past 45 years, Bordeaux has resided over Sintagleska University in Mission. In tonight's Eye on Cumberland, Al Van Zee sits down with the president to learn about his continuing vision for tribal education. Lionel Bordeaux sits in an office decorated with a memorabilia of a lifetime of service to education, including a portrait of the Brule Lakota leader Spotted Tail. Bordeaux says the first thinking about education among the tribal leaders associated with Spotted Tail was already occurring 150 years ago in the 1860s. They knew back then that the key to survival in a time and place dominated by white government and culture would be education. And they said evidently, you know, if this is the future of uh, civilization as it's going to pertain to us, uh, we need education. So they began to push education way back then. But educational institutions require money and large investments as well in training and preparation. The money in particular was hard to come by. So the dreams of the tribal leaders were long in being realized. A century later, in the early 1970s, the goal of starting a place of higher education on the Rosebud Reservation was accomplished. It was called Sintegleshka College, named after Spotted Tail. The college needed academic accreditation in order for its graduates to offer something that was recognized in the outside world. They visited schools like uh, Notre Dame. Uh, they went to USD and eventually Black Hill State University said, uh, we'll accept you as a uh, satellite center and your courses will be our courses. We'll oversee them from and your diploma will initially be, uh, you know, our diploma. The college also needed a leader to guide its course. A bright young 32 year old named Lionel Bordeaux has gotten the attention of tribal leaders. I was recruited by medicine men. I wasn't recruited by a particular type of a committee of educated people, uh, tribal medicine men, spiritual leaders, health ceremonies. And they, uh, you know, really addressed the spiritual world. Bordeaux answered the call in 1972. What the tribal leaders had in mind would be a large challenge that Bordeaux would spend the rest of his life meeting. They wanted an educational institution that would provide life enhancements in a wide variety of areas. That would encompass every aspect of a tribal way of life and improving that quality of life, whether it was in culture, whether it was in education, whether it was in economic development and business, whether it was in health, judicial, energy, housing, transportation, uh, even tribal government. Since then, Sintegleshka College has become Sintegleshka University. The campus has expanded to several locations in and around Mission, including its primary location on the picturesque shore of Antelope Lake. Last year, Black Hill State University named one of its new residence halls in honor of Lionel Bordeaux. Looking back, Bordeaux says he still has great confidence in Sintegleshka's emphasis on the spiritual aspects of tribal life. And in all the years he has been at the helm of the university, he has never lost his faith in the ability of education to transform lives and communities. Bordeaux says he doesn't believe any long-term problem exists that cannot be solved by education. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Al Van Zee. Since the University now has an enrollment of more than 800 students.